sheep, unlike other mammals like human beings, when they, uh, one of the things a shepherd does is to watch the flock, but also one of the things a shepherd does is deliver the sheep because uh, a sheep mommy uh, will labor for a little while and then she'll give up. Whereas a human being or a dog will labor and labor and labor until they die, <laughs> actually. Uh, but not a sheep. A sheep will just give up and croak. So the, the, uh, one of the things you have to be able to do is uh, uh, raise an orphan sheep that you deliver and the mother has died. Uh, so I used to have them in the living room, that little sh thing, and bottle feed them and so forth. And then we had one that the children, my children and my sister-in-law's children, had as a pet. And it was a male. And these were horned sheep. So the male had a rack like this and male apparatus. And, you know, male sheep look like male sheep. They don't look like females. They're sexually dimorphous. And... Uh, that uh, uh, sheep used to follow the kids around, you know, and, and when they went to wait for the school bus, it would wait at the, at the uh, place where they waited on the bus, uh, for the bus, and the kids would get on, and, and then in the afternoon he'd come back and wait for them again. And one morning he decided to go to school with them on the bus, and his uh, rack got caught in the thing, and the bus driver was screaming, and we got a call from the superintendent of school saying, you can't let your sheep go on the bus. They're scared. And the children weren't scared. They were delighted. But anyway, the children on the bus thought that was the funniest thing in the world. And uh, yeah, so the kids, uh, my kids were brought up on, on the farm.